la 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 let's go <clears throat> what's going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of snow runner and in today's video we're back in russia after just exploring it in the last video with an absolute shitbox of a 6x6 yeah that, that thing was absolutely terrible tipped over on the tiniest fucking pebble Right, it was just terrible. But this thing, the International Loso, absolutely carried that video like a sweet baby in its arms. But that's not what this video is about. I just wanted to point that out real quick. The six by six is cool. I'd still get it because you can sell it for back like a hundred grand. But practicality-wise, it's an absolute shit box. Without the box, it's just shit. Anyway, we're here in Russia, and today we're going to be running some missions. As you can see, we've got three new clients. I'm a Trans-Tay-Mir trans tay -mir. trans tay -mir. I don't know how to say that word It's fucking Russian Then we got what? Vor Vorano Vorano 12 Vorano 12 And Tiger Oil I can read Tiger Oil Anyway We got Geological Exploration This is the one that's going to need the Seismic Vibrator So I reckon we do that in this episode But I think I want to do this one it was always one of my favorites. This one you kind of have to you have to deliver cement to the sawmill. Then you need to deliver wooden planks from the factory. Then you need to go to the farm and the concrete slabs. So this is all going to pee back off each other. We need the cement to go to the sawmill. Then from the sawmill we can grab the wood to go up here. And then we need to deliver to the farm concrete slabs which we get from here and the farm is up there. But you may be thinking, John, what truck are we going to use? And in today's video, we're going to be using a brand new truck. Not the Zix 612H, not the Tiger 6436. But I've got a new truck in mind, boys, and that is the Dairy Special 15C177. You can unlock this absolute monster from... Oh, sorry, I need to go to the global map. You can unlock this guy from uh, Orter... Ontario, North America, and you can unlock this guy from the uh, map here. He is over, stuck over here in the mud. He's stuck. Uh, I think where was he? Uh, did forget. Anyway, he was stuck in the mud, and basically all you have to do is bring him back to the garage, right? As you can see here, and then it's yours. Now there are some upgrades you want to get for it, like the active suspension that was over here in the, in the kind of like the south side of the map, I think it was. Um, actually, no, it was at, it was at the high north side, the high north side of the island. Um, there's a bridge there for when you um, go there. It's on the far top north left side of the, so the top left of the map if you're facing north. And you can see there's that railway bridge. It's right at the end of that tunnel there. So that's where you find the access suspension. And then the engine upgrade, which is what you absolutely need to get. Because this is the second most powerful engine in the game with about 280,000 torque. And you can get this from the... Oh, hang on. I don't know what the name was. Give me a second. You can get this from the Burnt Forest region in Ontario. So you must get that. That is right here on the map. And yeah, that and then that gives us... The Dairy Special 15C177. So without any further ado, I'm really excited to use this thing. Will it be as good as the Zix? No, it definitely won't. Which is actually a good point, because what I want to do is I want to put the normal tyres back on this thing, because uh, if I do want to use it. Anyway, it's not going to be as good as the Zix, but will it be better than, but will it be better than Tega? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it will be or if it won't be. But I'm hoping it will be, and what, what I was kind of aiming for was kind of wanted like a kind of an in-between. Now, there is another track that we could check out. We could check out the the, the Azovs. The Azov 64131 is really good, and so is the Azov 3919. It's, I think this is one of the best came out. It was the best off-road performing, but this thing was the better overall truck. So we might check this thing out, but I've done that before, and I want to do something different. I've never, I've never checked this out before. It's got a really powerful engine, it's an 8x8, it's got all-wheel drive and diff lock. It's all-wheel drive is always on, but the diff lock is switchable, so that might kind of affect how it does in long term, but maybe it's going to be quicker than the Azov, so I don't really know. But without any further ado, let's get into customizing this thing. Now, the engine is the big thing. As you can see, it's got a B plus, A, and B minus. That's pretty good. 
the power's not really there. It's got good durability, and it's got okay fuel consumption, but it does have a big tank of 380 litres. It comes with a stock suspension, off-road 55s, all-wheel drive always on, like I said, and diff lock is switchable. But down here, which is the upgrade that I showed you before, this is the GB... Dash 8V 3500T. Now this thing gives us an S power to weight, and it bumps up our durability, but we do lose a bit of fuel consumption. But we can probably make up with up for that with the extra power and durability. So overall, I think it's good. It's 25 grand, so it is a pricey engine. But when you do get it, you get it for free. So the only reason is because I did have a look at the truck before I got it, um, but I just sold the part, so it'd be more authentic. Anyway, so we're gonna sell these two engines. We'll get some money off that, and there we go. We've got a gearbox, then we've got a fine tune and a special. This lowers our durability, but this will give us the extra gears. And this special gearbox does not give us the low and high and low. And since this thing doesn't have diff lock always on, I think I'm gonna have to go for it. So we're gonna sell those two. Suspension, we have the active suspension, which I would get because. It doesn't really change much of the height stock, but if you get into a situation where you do need a lift suspension, at least you know you've got it. For tyres, we have a ride selection. Now, these things I think are the best performing, but these ones give us, will give us better stability. So, do we want to... Pro pro I think this thing will be like good in the mud, no matter what. So, do we think we should prioritise... Uh, I mean, it doesn't really stick out too much further, but, hmm, I'm not sure. I think let's go with, Actually, I th I, I, let's go with these tyres. The, we'll go for the more wider tyres because I think in the long run it's going to be faster. Because if we tip over, that's not going to be good. Now, out of these two tyres, these I know these are more expensive, but these are actually going to give us better performance. I just know because of the specs of these tyres. So let's pull back these guys on and we will sell these two tyres. Now, winch, we have a twin motor heavy, so we're going to want to apply that. We've got an engageable diff lock, the spare wheel's already on it, we have a snorkel, yep, let's put that on there. And add-ons, since we're doing that first, let's do this. And let's whack a crane on there too. This thing can do a crane um, and trailer combo, so that's always a plus. Alright, now onto visuals, we have the saber, that looks pretty cool. We have trunk reply, so that gives us 120 extra fuel. That's, that's going to be really good, so I'm not too worried about our fuel consumption. Yep, some fog lights, we've got a visor, which one do we like better? I think, I think I like this one a bit better. And we have a bull bar, I mean, they both look pretty similar, I mean, I guess, I mean, to be honest, I'd, no, uh, yeah, I mean, we can only run this one, so let's just go this one. Uh, 
Yep, let's put some horns on there. I, li I like the look of those. Rims, OHD rims 2. Oh, MHS rims 2. Now, color, we have the special fire hydrant, which uh, I think is pretty cool. But let's go down to the two tones. We have a yellow pink, which I'm not too a fan of. We have like a orange and blue and white. A green, blue, and white. That just look bad. And the blue and white. And the red and white. I kind of like the blue and white. Let's go with the blue and white. Alright, now of course we've got to put beans on the dash. No curtains, no stickers, no stickers. I'll put a, I'll put a, I'll put some, I'll be reckon like this. Mud up or shut up, yeah, why not? That doesn't look too bad. And that, guys, is our new Dairy Special 15C177. I'm just going to call it the Dairy Special. I'm not going to give it its full name. I'm just going to say the Dairy Special. So without any further ado, let's leave the garage. Let's switch it to the afternoon. And we want to activate... Was it a cycle of cargo? Yeah. So let's activate this. And we're going to want to come back here and pick up the two things of cement. So we just want to come out of the garage and do all right. And then we'll be on our way. So without any further ado, let's get into it. First time running into Russia, first time doing some new uh, new tasks, we have a new truck, I'm excited to see how this thing performs, it, it has pretty good reviews on it, if it's not the what we expect we can always go back to the uh, the, uh, the, the Azov 643131 I think it was, because I mean I have played with that thing before and uh, it, that thing does really well. So we have five gears here. Not, not not necessarily the fastest, but I think I think in the long run she'll she'll be pretty should be pretty quick. So look at the inside here. Yeah, it's pretty military spec if that makes any sense. Yeah, it's not really anything fancy going on. It's the truck and everything you need. So got a little radio down there on the dash. All right, let's. We want cement. One, two. We've got the fine tuned gearbox in this thing, so we have the wide range of gears. Turning circle seems to be okay, not the best, but yeah, you've got to allow for that. Oh, we forgot to turn on our beacons. Beacons for good luck. Got a little train out there. Well, maybe the turning circle isn't that great. Let's get it on. So before we get any further, let's mark out our trip here. To get to the sawmill, we're going to want to come out here, take a left here, come up here, and we want to go left. I think left is going to give us a bit better um, of a trip. So let's go along here, through here. We'll follow this road all the way around to the sawmill. All right, let's get it going. I mean, I like the look of this truck. It looks pretty cool. It stiffs and that does stay down there. It's something that I've noticed that it's got uh, air sus air airbag suspension and leaf spring like most of the other trucks in this game. So that's pretty cool to watch. Don't know how this thing is going to go. I think it might get caught up a bit, but you know, I think the like the collision model is actually higher than what the like, uh, visual model shows. Like I think the collision model might be like halfway up from where the dip actually is. Or, oops. That's, that wasn't good. Just put that diff lock on to get up here. Alright. Just, alright, well, that's what happens when you take your eyes off the road, I guess. Alright, so we're going to want to take our left hand turn here. And so far, I mean, I think it's struggling through the mud, so. In fifth gear, no less. So, I mean, yeah, did you see that? Like the rock, like yeah, the collision model is all higher than what it's actually visually shown. So that's good. Uh, what's high gear like? High gear isn't really that that quick. So I guess, but I guess it's all sudden steady into the race type of vibe. It's the way this thing does drink through fuel though, so you know. I want to keep it high for more like that. You know we need it. Alright. We've got 
got a pretty nice dissection down here. So I guess we'll really see what this thing is good at. I mean, that just shows you that this that this engine does have a lot of torque. I mean, it's just holding fifth all the way through that. So I think I think I'm going to be pretty happy with this whole thing. But you know, I'd be down to check out another truck in the next episode too. I really want to start expanding our fleet. Do we want to go up here? Yes, we do. I'd be I'd be quite down to expand our fleet and try to get something a bit, a bit better. I mean, I can definitely tell that the lock is a. I definitely could be slowing down the potential of this thing, but I guess I guess if it had lockers, it wouldn't really. I reckon it might be pretty overpowered. I'd be down to check out another, yeah, like I said, I'd be down to check out another truck in the next episode. Kind of try and switch it up a bit. Oh yeah, like, I mean, this thing's good, I mean, I'd like to keep using it, but, you know, I kind of, I'm kind of eager to try and check out some new trucks, but being kind of staying with the Zix and the Tiger for a while now, so it's nice to kind of get a new uh, sense of pace. And, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll experiment, we'll look around, and uh, we'll see what we like. I think, I think this thing will really be good at haul, um, hauling semi-trailers. I think that's when this thing will, will shine. I mean, if I'm honest, this part's bad. I remember this mud hole is she gets really deep, so... Let's see if we can get through this without a diff lock. Yeah, that's pretty low high, high diff lock, and... There she goes. Tip down in there. Oh, wow, this is deep. I guess we're really safe. This thing is. I think we're just we're getting hung up on our uh, side there. Let's see if this thing can crawl out of it with its own steam. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, I'm pretty. I'm pretty impressed with that. I mean, that's a pretty gnarly section, it's really deep too, with that steep um, approach and deep approach angle, so... I think, uh, I mean, I like it. I know mean, there's something about it though that's... I don't know, that I'm not quite convinced. I think it might just be the speed at which it travels at, and the turning circles are really not the best. But, I don't know, I think I, think I want to like it, but I'm not quite sold on it just yet. So we'll just we'll just wait and see. I mean it's going through the terrain, I mean at the same pace. So I think this might just be a slow and steady wind the race type of vibe, like I said before. And you know, if that's if that's the case, then I'll be happy with it. You know, uh, we def I definitely want to keep the, the fine tune in it because we definitely need those those ver those variations of the low gear for the dip lock if we need it. If this thing had a dip lock always on, I might have considered a higher end gear box in terms of it. Alright, but all right, we're here at our first drop-off point. So let's drop these off. And then we want to pick up two on the planks, like that. Uh, and now we're going to want to... Where is this going? This is going up to the factory, so let's just come out here. We'll turn right, and we'll come along here. Like this. Come through here. Through here. Oh, actually, no, 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 we don't want to do that. We want to just, from here... We'll find a way to cut through, come through here, to there, and drop it off, and then we'll map, we'll map out a route again for our final um, drop off. 
Got some wooden planks in here now. Can I smash through this fence? Yep, sorry chickens. Is this a chicken coop? Oh wow, yeah, okay, it's locking up our tires a bit. I, don't, I, I really don't, actually, I'm not, I'm not sure. It feels heavy. It feels heavy. That's that's why I'm noticing it. Like, it's supposed to have the most second powerful engine in the game. But it's not as hoppy as I thought. Like, when you're, like, stopping like this, like, I, I'm expecting it to, like, just hop out of its shoes with a lot of torque and power, but it's not, not really doing that. I feel like it's kind of hesitating at the gears a bit. But I also think that could just be the gearbox. But I can kind of, I think if it makes sense, I can just feel the heaviness. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, don't tip over. Right, let's see if this. Let's turn the diff box on. Nice and slowly. But you see, like, you see the axle freezing going on there, at the rear there, like, you can see the axle starting to kind of freeze up a bit. Oh, it's, I'm confused by that, because it's supposed to be a really powerful engine. And I'm expecting it to be able to turn these tyres. I don't know. That's what I'm saying, it just kind of feels heavy. But anyway, sure, I should be. It does feel very heavy. Now I'm noticing it, it does, it, it really does feel heavy. Do you I can cut through there? Straight where we are. Do you reckon we can fit through those trees? Looks like we can. I'm gonna come right here, back left. Oh, oops. That's right, don't worry about it. Tree ranches here. That's right, we'll go and push through it. Yeah, the turning on this thing is really, it's really bugging me. Alright. Well, we got a pretty muddy section out here, though. Wow. But I mean, I mean, this thing, like, I think, even, even though it feels heavy, I think it's just going to be consistent. It's going to be more of, like, a consistent ride. I don't know. I'm not too sure. I mean, she looks good. I will, I will say that. It does look good. Uh, it does, it does look good. Alright, oh, well, anyway, we're here at this next drop-off point. I mean, uh, this map isn't really all that big, to be honest. I st I'm still just, like, it just feels, it feels like, I don't know, it just feels like we've got, like, an anchor in the ground or something. I don't know, it just, it feels heavy. Maybe we just need to find a different gearbox for this thing. There were two more gearbox options that we did not have, so... If we can find those, I think... I think those would help, maybe help it out a bit. Alright, 
two wooden planks. So right, now we need one concrete slab. There we go. One concrete slab. Alright, so let's just thing it off here. And now we want to go all the way up there. So the best way to go about it will be... If we go back around here... Through here, we'll come across through here. We'll test it through that little muddy section. Come along this main road, come back off the main road, come along here, come through there, and then come up over here and deliver it to the farm. Alright, sounds like a plan to me. We'll put this thing back to the afternoon. And we want to head back that direction. Um, we've got concrete slabs here, possibly the most the heavy slide of the day. So we'll see we'll see how she we'll see how she rides. muddy little trail here so we'll see how she she fares up with it. If we can hold fifth gear going through here that that will give me confidence that this is actually a very quite powerful engine which it looks like it is. So I mean I don't know maybe it's more of like a high up here kind of torque situation in this thing. It's still holding fifth drop it down back to the first and we get a bit better traction. Now I don't really think you know, we can put it you know, we can put the diff lock on this kind of just like a slow and steady with the race kind of deal now. At least we know we'll have a lot of good traction. to be able to get along in, in high just just fine. Well, this this part's bad. Oh okay, wow. Well, we are stuck. Okay, we are stuck with no winch points. that tree? No, we won't be able to. Ah, oh, well I'm in a bit of a predicament now, aren't I? I wasn't expecting this to be as bad as it was. Okay, let's try this. If we restore, no, uh, restore crane, then unpack the cargo. Okay, we are we are quite stuck. Like literally, I don't. I don't even think we're moving here. Okay, well, maybe this truck isn't really what I was hoping it to be. 
but maybe we just got it in a bad spot, so, I mean, ugh, yuck, this is a, this is a yucky situation, oh god, just, we're just going to winch points, man, that's annoying. God, this is way worse than, like, what I thought it would be. I mean, if we just stayed to the left there, we would have been better off. But I tried to be s clever and think that this would have been quicker. But, and it ended up being, taking probably twice as long. Yeah. You know, we keep bring forward here. No, we're not. We're not, we're not, we're not going anywhere. Okay, well, we're fucked. Okay, well, we'll bring another truck out and, um, we'll pull this thing out then. Shit. Well, that's not good. Yeah, yeah, scratch your neck, you little fuck. Alright, we're back with the old, good old recovery vehicle, the Tiger. And, I mean, after driving this thing, I think I figured out why it feels sluggish. The, the, the problem with this thing is it it's classified as a heavy truck. And what that means is that it's actually heavy. Like, the weight of the truck is actually, like, it weighs a lot. And I think that's its kryptonite. It's, it's, the Zix, so the Arm Master is a heavy truck, but it is just powerful and, like, and good. Oh, we want to turn on the truck before we dig up myself down. Actually, you know what, I want to get myself out of this. Will I pull it now? this thing out, the old Tiger, she does this proud. Yeah, that's what, I think that's what this thing's problem is, it, it, it's classified as a heavy truck and it just, it, it, and it's just, it, it's sluggish, it feels sluggish, that, that's its problem, and it's, yeah, I mean, I, I'm repeating myself, but it, it's heavy, it's heavy and you can definitely notice it. So, we'll pull this thing off to the side here. Stop the engine, we'll change the truck, we'll hop back in this thing. And we'll continue on. I mean, this thing is bigger than the Tiger, and then we also do have some weight in the back, but I mean, overall, the truck weighs a lot more than that. And I think, well, I don't know really what, know what missions would be good with heavy trucks, but it's bad in deep stuff like that where we don't have traction because we can't. It just sinks, and since it's so heavy, it, we, we just can't calm ourselves out. But the lighter trucks, like the off-road category trucks, they're light enough, and they're, they're just they're able to climb out really easy. But like the thing, like a Mastodon, that thing is a heavy truck, and it does weigh a lot. I think it's the second heaviest truck in the game. But it is capable, very, very capable. I mean, you'll, I don't think you'll ever get that thing stuck, like properly stuck. I mean, we we got this thing properly stuck, but we weren't moving. I think that's the first time in this game we've actually gotten something properly stuck. Oh yeah, these uh, things are unpacked. We want to pack the cargo again. So yeah, it's interesting. That's what I'm saying. That that's what I was. I was, cause I was thinking about why I was feeling the way I was with this truck, and I realised because it is heavy. And that's why it feels sluggish and heavy, because it actually is heavy. And, ooh, don't flip ourselves over here. And see, this is where not having dip lock always on can fix this. But as soon as we put dip lock on, we are able to get over that. So I think having dip lock always on is a must have for the moment. I know, I think we will find something that the thing is better at, maybe. Maybe not for something like Russia, where the stuff is really, where the mud and that's really deep and heavy. For light mud and to medium mud, like this type of stuff here, this thing is fine. It's got plenty of traction. 
and the weight actually helps it. But as soon as you start reaching like the really deep stuff, it it then just sinks to its chassis and you can't get traction because it is too heavy at that point where it is no longer helping itself. So it's interesting. We uh, want to be careful here, and I feel oh, that's steep. So I think what we want to do is go down on the rocks there, but I'm just nervous that we'll flip as we try to get there. But I think if we just be careful, like we do. Careful, don't slide off the... No, 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 no. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's another thing, it was too heavy, and it slid off. God damn it, that... Oh, that's so fucking annoying. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. That's that's stupid. I didn't want to go the long way. But you know what? I just don't care. And you know what? I need to fix the suspension and everything on it. Repair. Yes, repair everything. Thank you. Alright, now I need to refuel myself. Okay, great. Okay, I'm not I'm not a fan of this truck. I thought it was gonna be better than what it was. But it's it's just too heavy. It's hard to recover. It, it just I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just a shit driver. But I don't know, I'm, I'm just not liking this truck. And the fact that it doesn't have a diff lock on all on all oh, and we're stuck again, are we? Oh my days. Do I have two tires that are popped? Are you kidding me? Oh my days. Come on, climb out. Climb out, climb out, climb out, climb out. Thank you. Now, do not flip on these rocks. Okay, alright, round two everybody, eh? Round two. The turning circle on this is ass as well. We only have a hundred litres left, so I'm going to siphon my, most, not all, but most, because I need to just, I need to change trucks and turn this, okay it's off, so I'm going to refuel from the t t t take it to the Jerry Special like that, okay that'll do then I'm going to change back into this turn this around we should have enough fuel to drop this off now we'll just get it back, get back up there, not to fall in this time
Okay. Oh, back on track. Alright, let's just act like nothing ever happened. And we should be fine. Yeah, this thing, it, it just... Oh my god. And I, I think... I, th I just don't think this is... I, I just don't think... I don't know. I've done... I've used trucks in the past. For things like this. And they've just been better. Like, especially the Azov 64131. Like, it was either going to be this or that. But I wanted to give this a go. But, from memory, the Azov is just better. I can just tell. I just remember how it felt. And this is not having to box. So it's just stuff like that. Turn, turn, turn. And see, now it's just, it's not, it's too heavy. It's too heavy to turn the wheels. So much for the most powerful engine in the game. Or well, one of the... Oh my days. Come on. I don't get how low gear is actually a thing in this game. It actually just doesn't make sense. Because low gear is supposed to up the torque. And it, it, it's... Oh my... These things just can't... Okay, this thing is actually ass. I actually do not like it. They can't even get up this little hill, are you joking me? Oh my days, oh my god. Come on. You've got to be joking me, right? Fucking hell. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm just not a fan. I like how it looks. But, it's just not... Okay, this is not bad. I just cannot... Are you joking me? Are you actually joking me? Now, this has got to be a joke, right? Oh, come on. Oh, I'm not going to make it. I'm seriously just not gonna make it. How the fuck did that damage the fuel? I'm, I'm not gonna make it. There's no way. I'm just, there's no way I'm gonna make this. I just don't think I'm gonna make it. The f with the fuel tank gone, are you, are you fucking kidding me right now? You're flipping? I really do. I honestly just... I just... Like, I'm so incredibly surprised. I'm, I'm begging that I can make it. I'm begging. I just want to make this. Please. Please, for the love of God. Fuel's going down faster than than something. Uh, come on, 38 liters, please. Uh, if I run out just before I get there, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Is this the farm? Okay, this is the farm, this is the farm. Okay, okay, come on. Bro, I'm gonna, I swear, if I run out just before I get there... Come on! Up shift! Oh my god, I'm not gonna make it. Fucking hell, you've gotta be joking me. Fucking unbelievable. 
What a fucking shit of a truck. What an absolute fucking unreliable piece of shit. And now I've only got 44 liters in this thing. I'm not going to be able to fucking make this. What a fucking shit truck. I hate that thing now. I genuinely just don't think it's good. Like, I just can't believe it did that much damage coming off that little lip. Like, that's just absolutely unbelievable. Stop hitting your bumper! Fuck. I'm not in the mood for this. That is just... That, that's just... Oh my god, I just... I'm lost for words, dude. Like, that, that shit's just fucking unbelievable. So if this thing runs out of fuel as well, and I've just done this trip for nothing. I'm gonna lose it. I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely gonna lose it. This thing is drinking fuel, the fuel though. Come on, just fucking grab traction, please. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the A's off. That thing, I, I know that thing's just reliable. This very special, it's just too heavy, and it's just not optimal. It might be good for something, but not, not for this. I tried to give it a chance. It's fucking spat it in my face. I don't, I swear to you, this thing's not gonna make it either. <sighs> Fucking hell, dude. Is there a fuel trailer in there? Okay, there is, there is. Okay, 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 okay. I need to fucking make it to that. I need to make this to that. I swear to God, if I can't make... I'm running out of fuel, dude. This thing's conking out. Are you fucking kidding me? It's conking out. It's it's conking out. Oh my fucking god! I'm about to lose my shit. I was right there. I was. Fuck's sake. A few moments later. Okay. After I ran out of fuel twice, in practically the exact same spot, I recovered to the garage, and I decided to. Just uh, put a sideboard bed on this thing. That way I could. I don't want to unpack this cargo. That way I can just come out like this. Pull the crane like this. Like that. Drop it. Like that. Stop the engine. Change the truck. Pack this cargo. Refuel source from the the Jerry Special back into the Taylor. Give me what I fucking gave you. And now I can finish off this contract. Now, thoughts on the dairy. I do not like it. I'm not going to say it's bad, because I think maybe it, I'm just using it for the wrong reasons. A lot of people say that it is good, but I think maybe I'm just using it for the wrong purpose. Or maybe just the wrong type of environment. But for the, but besides that, we've uh, finished this contract. Not with these, but that's a little taste for Russia for you. And just that's why you've just got to like make sure you have good quality trucks that you can rely on, that you know are going to work well, and um, then you should be able to do this quite fine. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Cycle of Cargo, you you did good. You'll get your you get your promised money. We get 510 stars for that, and it's 4,800 bucks. Like I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next one. See you later.